So I just got this uh, Canon Vixia HF G50. I've heard a lot of good things about it. We're gonna use it for our church live streaming. Um, right now we are using GoPro. I'm excited to unbox this thing and really see what's inside, what it comes with. And I will also be giving you some indoor quality test footage as well. I've read quite a bit about this camera and I've seen some test footage. Um, I really like it as far as what you can see on YouTube. So I know that YouTube is a little hard to um, kind of judge whether or not you like a piece of equipment. Um, but I don't know. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, you can see that I'm not on a professional desk set up with, you know, a nice overhead camera like this. My tripod and all that kind of stuff is at the church. Literally just now I, I unboxed it, I unwrapped it. And I'm actually really excited, so excited in fact, that I wanna get this thing open. So like this says in the back, it's supposed to be 4K, ultra high definition MP4, um, HDMI. We've got a uh, optical wide angle lens, um, eight bladed circular aperture, 20X optical zoom, and image stabilization, um, just to name a few. Let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what is inside. Looks like some uh, limited warranty information, USA registration Here is our user manual. And we've got some stuff. Looks like our shield. This appears to be the battery, um, battery cable or charger. Throw that away. Looks like it's also part of the charger, so it's a two-piece um, charger, sort of like what you get with a maybe a Windows laptop or something. And this appears to be the camera itself. I'm gonna set that off to the side and make sure there's nothing else in this box. It looks like it's empty, but just so you guys can see, nothing else. All right, let's get to the camera. I expected it to be a little heavier and actually, I actually expected it to be a little bit bigger. It just feels smaller than it looks on camera. But it's very lightweight, very mobile friendly it appears. If you were to put your other hand in here and kind of hold this strap, um, yeah, I like it. So when you open this up, you've got a you know, film on the screen to protect it. A film there over covering your uh, like a dust cover on your SD card slots. This is like your little joystick style um, selector there. And a push button that pushes down. You know, obviously you got menu, different functionalities, and you're going to set it by pushing down on this joystick. Battery goes there. Battery release here on the bottom. I'm not sure what that three and four is for, but I'm sure the user's manual will help me out with that. It looks like a mic, HDMI, and remote input. Let's open that up. Okay, I was wrong. So USB, HDMI out, a remote, headphone out, mic in. We we did buy a remote for this, um, so I wanted to see what that's going to do for us because we also got a bigger tripod that we're gonna use. So I really like this camera. As you can see, I mean, it looks bigger on camera, I feel like, I guess, I don't know. Um, but as far as, you know, it's a thousand bucks. I got it for like $999 on Amazon. And then you can take your lens cap off and let's see what it looks like with the lens hood on. Right here on the bottom of the camera, you can see this little line here, bottom front underneath your lens and then if you look on the lens hood there's also one if you're uh, facing the back side of it like this just flip it upside down and look on the right hand side okay you're going to want to line these two up i can actually do this with one hand once these line up and then you kind of just twist it and it locks in place i just did that with one hand so it's not too difficult once you line those two lines up. The camera looks a lot bigger. It doesn't change the weight at all. Um, it's hardly noticeable. And then you flip this lever down and 
it opens your uh, your lens cap. You know, we have some bright lights coming up from up above the camera, um, some LED lights and stuff above where this camera is going to be placed. And around the sides, there's going to be people walking around and all that. I really think that this is going to help us. Um, I'm happy that it comes with it. Overall, I like it so far. This is the battery here. Something else inside of the battery bag. That looks like a weight for the battery charging cable. You know, in a general sense, most cameras look pretty close. You know, a person can walk into your church service and say, oh, there's a camera. And they don't really know the difference. The people online are going to notice the difference on the quality of the camera that you have. Right now we have a GoPro. We're shooting 1080p and it, it looks decent. But with GoPros, you kind of get that fish eye flare lens look. Um, and it kind of like, you know, makes everybody look tall and skinny or stretches out um, along the edges. We want to try this camera out. We finally, someone generously donated uh, $3,000 to our media and tech budget. We are blessed to um, have people that believe in live streaming and at our last deacons and elders meeting, um, online is here to stay is what was voted. So I am thankful for that. So right now that's the uh, PTZ camera. What I'm gonna do is transition it to this camera, the Canon. Almost to the same Tight fit. I'll zoom out a little bit. Close enough. You can see the difference right here. It's darker. PTZ is brighter, darker. This is the Canon and the PTZ. So let me go up and show you what the Canon looks like. So this is the Canon. Uh, next to putting a stage light up there that might be daylight brightness, maybe with a um, diffuser and stuff on it, or maybe even a couple. Uh, we do have stage lights, but they're old and they're horrible. So if we can get those maybe upgraded or changed out, this, this Canon might be pretty good. Um, the problem is I would have to spend a lot of money on lighting spend a ton of money on lighting just to um, make a thousand dollar camera look good when I've got a seven hundred dollar PTZ camera that looks fantastic and I don't have to upgrade any lighting. So this is the PTZ camera compared to the Canon. Um, I think you can tell the difference, you can see the difference, you can um, save a little bit of money now, what I obviously haven't done is compared PTZ optics quality to this PTZ camera, but um, if you are okay with this quality, uh, you think this is going to be sufficient for your congregation or for your media services, for your church, um, man, this is $700. So I'm going to put the link for this camera in the description of this video um, and you guys check it out for yourselves if you know you're struggling to figure out all the ins and outs of live streaming with your church uh, please hit the subscribe button turn on the notifications i'm going to be bringing a lot more content like this thank you for watching and i appreciate it and hopefully you guys caught something out of this